23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Monday. The French fire has pushed past the 25,000 acre mark, but evacuation orders have been downgraded from Wolford Heights all the way down to French Gulch. The fire now at 25,264 acres and remains 26% contained. Now, some evacuation warnings have actually been lifted for places like Kernville and River Kern. As a result, residents in these communities are being allowed to return home. There are now 1,500 firefighters out on the lines. See the county fire department's Twitter account for things you need to know if you are headed home. We'll bring you the latest information on this fire as it comes into our newsroom. Meantime, tomorrow, the deadline for the U.S. to complete the evacuation of U.S. personnel and Afghan allies from Afghanistan. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said the U.S. will, quote, ensure safe passage for Americans and Afghan allies still in the country and that want to leave. The State Department released a statement saying the Taliban gave assurances that people with travel documents will still be able to get out. The Taliban will take over control of the airport after Tuesday, but said they will allow normal travel. The deadline follows a massive two-week effort to evacuate more than 110,000 Afghans, Americans, and U.S. troops. And updated COVID-19 numbers from the County Health's public dashboard this morning, showing 1,482 new cases for the three-day weekend, increasing the total now to more than 124,000. Nearly 75,000 of those total cases are in the 18 to 49 age group. There were also four new deaths attributed to the virus. The number of Delta variant cases is now at 132 in the county. All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Elena Russ, get a check of that Monday forecast. All right, so we had more hundreds over the weekend. It's now been 60 days of triple digits, almost double what we typically have for a whole season, and we still have all of September to go. Today will be day number 61 of those triple digits. The record is 76 days back in 1917, but with 61 today, we're getting pretty close to second place, which was 67 days of hundreds set back in 1939 and then tied in 2017. So with that very hot weather, you see it's dry. The thunderstorm activity is out of our way as we have the triple digits not just for the valley, but the Kern River Valley and the excessive heat warning continues in the desert too. A look ahead will show us that westerly winds tomorrow start to take temperatures down, blow out some of this smoke, but there's not really a chance of rain out there, so we need to wait and see what these winds will do for the fires as temperatures stay pretty mild for this time of year through the weekend. And that's a look at just some of the stories we're following at this hour. Don't forget you can get breaking news, weather, and traffic anytime, anywhere by simply downloading our free mobile and tablet apps. Have a great day.